How to burn out like a bass mother If you want to know how to burn out like a bad mother you've come to the right video. After you watch this full video, you should be well on your way to being able to do something like this. If you have a 550 horsepower vehicle equipped with a supercharger, it might sound something like this. If your car doesn't have 550 horsepower or a supercharger, it's okay, we can still do a burnout. In this video, I will be teaching how to do a burnout with a rear wheel drive vehicle and a manual transmission. However, if you don't have a manual transmission or a rear wheel drive vehicle, you can still watch this video to learn the principles of how to do a burnout. All right, so here's the steps you need to follow if you want to burn out like a bad mother After finding a wide open safe place to practice doing a burnout, the very first thing you're going to want to do is turn off traction control completely. My traction control button is right there by my shifter. Each car is a little bit different and the traction control button will be in a unique place in each vehicle. Since we're doing a burnout and the entire point is to make the tires slip, we want to have all of the traction control systems off. In my particular vehicle, the only way to turn off all of the traction control systems is to be at a complete stop with your foot on the brake and hold down the traction control button for 5 seconds. You're definitely not going to want to forget to turn off traction control if you want to burn out like a bad mother The next step is going to be to take your left foot and put it on the clutch and your right foot on the gas pedal. Reach over with your right hand and put the car in first gear. If you're going to do a burnout in second gear or third gear, you've got one bad mother car. Now depending on how much torque and horsepower your vehicle has, what tires you have, how warm they are, and the condition of the tires, you're going to want to rev your engine up anywhere from about 4000 RPMs all the way to the rev limiter. With the vehicle in first gear and the engine revved up fairly high, you're going to want to drop the clutch while fully pressing the gas pedal to the floor. As soon as you rapidly release the clutch and the drive wheels begin to spin, immediately stomp on the brake hard enough to hold the car back, but not so hard that the drive wheels stop spinning. You can choose to press the brake hard enough to stop the car or allow it to crawl forward. Whatever you do, make sure that the clutch hooked up and the tires are spinning. You should smell burning rubber and not burning clutch. There's a huge difference. The objective of this video tutorial is to teach you how to burn out like a bad mother But let's take a quick moment to see how to do a burnout like a dumb ass mother This guy burns out his clutch instead of his tires. Whatever you do, don't do this. That was not the tires. That was not the tires. I don't know. 
When the burnout is done properly, the clutch should hook right up and not slip at all, and there definitely should not be any smoke coming from the clutch, while at the same time the tire should be puffing out about as much smoke as Snoop Dogg on April 20th. The clutch should be fully released and the gas pedal should be either all the way to the floor or, if your car has enough power, you can modulate the throttle and feather it to keep the RPMs high but not bouncing off the rev limiter. Again, use the brake just enough to stop the car or keep it traveling at a slow crawl. Do not smash the brake so hard that it locks up the tires and forces the clutch to slip. All right. The time has come where you can now decide exactly how much of a bad mother burnout you want to do. The longer you smoke the tires, the hotter they're going to get and the more they're going to wear. Keep in mind that the brake pads will also be heating up and wearing as well. If you burn out for about 5 seconds or so, the tires and brakes will not be taking nearly as much of a beating as if you do a burnout for 30 seconds. If you're going to be doing a burnout for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 50 seconds, or even as long as 2 minutes, keep in mind that the probability of something going wrong increases significantly the longer you do your burnout for. If you do a burnout for too long, you can literally rip the tires apart and they can whip around and tear your vehicle apart. You definitely don't want this to happen. Additionally, as the brakes heat up, they could begin to glow. If the brakes get too hot, they can literally catch on fire and cause significant damage to your vehicle. Last but not least, as you decide to end your epic burnout, don't forget that you're sending some serious horsepower to the wheels of your vehicle. There is more than one way to end a burnout. The safest way may be to simultaneously let off the gas pedal and press the clutch down to the floor. By pressing the clutch to the floor, you will remove all power from the drive wheels and the tires should stop spinning completely. Alternatively, you could keep the gas pedal pressed and let off the brake pedal. Be aware that if you do this, the tires will begin to gain traction at some point. They will hook up and grip the pavement. When the tires grip the road, it could potentially launch your vehicle forward at an unexpectedly fast rate of acceleration. After you're done burning out, if you keep your foot on the gas and don't press the brake or press the clutch in, the back end could get a little bit squirrely and send you off course. You're going to want to make sure you have plenty of room on either side when you practice doing burnouts. My final tip for you to take into consideration when doing a burnout is the fact that your car will be sitting still while you're running the engine pretty hard. Under normal operating conditions, when you're driving a vehicle hard, you might be on a highway or moving at some sort of speed. This means that there will be wind inside the engine and cooling down the components. When you're doing a burnout, you're pretty much just sitting there, so all of the heat under the hood is pretty much building up. I just want you to be aware of this obvious fact because I've seen so many cars and videos sitting there doing a burnout for way too long and then the engine explodes. Now that you've watched this full video, you should understand the basic idea of how to burn out like a bad motherfucker. Smash that like button and subscribe for more great videos. Thanks dudes. I'll see you in my next video.